とシンバルから今食い帰りましたスタートさあスタートはどうか星野が行きましたそして服部がスタートを見せている中野が内から行った星野が行く星野そして中野が2番で服部3番手がちょっと遅れているのは高木との試合が最強ポンクがかっている高木さあクラッシュペドロー・デラロサ1コーナー手を上げたグラベルに沈めたそしてフライスバーグリーあー次々と次々と大クラッシュバラバラになっているあこれはネクストジャパンチームの番粉々になっていますあこれは大ハプリングインサイドバイサイド for that third position with his teammate but up front it's the pole sitter Mateus Lace gets the early jump oh we have contact Herta spins and he collects his teammate Ryan Norman oh Colton Herta Just up on the high side, entering turn two, then turn down. As Norman slides down, he almost took Shelby Blackstock with him, but I think he missed him. We'll see if Kellett has any kind of damage. Norman getting collective. Norman coming down, and three cars barely miss him. Pedrahita in the yellow car. Line. Here comes Ricky Carmichael behind him. Now they fan out three wide as they get into three. Wow, those trucks are in. Oh, trouble oh, wow, already. On. Austin Dillon in it, as well as Johnny Sauter. The 18 of Kyle Busch is also involved. 98. Oh, look at this truck. The, the 10. 10. Jennifer Jo Cobb also involved. Back straight away. You can see the 51 truck. The 55. Eric Carmichael yeah. gets a run on Austin Dillon. Austin starts to kind of come over a little bit to block him. They touch, and, when, and then Austin starts wiggling, and then he catches Johnny Sauter up against the wall. Kyle Busch comes along. The 15 of Ted Musgrave with nowhere to go. The 98 of Landon Castle runs into his teammate Johnny Sauter. Gibt das Rennen direkt frei, und da hat der Alpina so ein bisschen den Start verpennt. Beide ab Audi setzen sich gleich mal in Führung. Luca Ludwig biegt als erster ein und er wird ein Mercedes SLS aber mal richtig getroffen. Und er geht mal gleich über das Dach und bleibt kopfüber im Kiesbett liegen. Safety Car ist direkt oben eingeblendet. Kommt dann, zieht ganz nach außen mit den grünen Markierungen. Lance David Arnold trifft da hinten. Dann entsprechend das Auto von Black Falcon, Robert Renauer sitzt da am Steuer, der sich das Cockpit mit Kenneth Hayer teilen wollte. Aber das sieht nach einem vorzeitigen Ende aus. Bleibt der Kopf über dem Kiesbett liegen. Die Quest für Racing Immortality ist unterwegs. Für die 85. Time. Die Indianapolis 500 ist an. Und Scott Sharp jumps in die Lead. Robbie Gordon, already very gut. Well. Scott Sharp. He bobbled in Turn 1 and he's hitting the walls. He Scott got Sharp. Scott Sharp got high coming off of Turn 1 as Robbie Gordon was trying to go around the outside of Greg Ray. His, here is his onboard camera. Oh, you can see he got down just too low, went through that corner and lost the thing, went up and slapped it with the right side. Luckily, it stayed near the outside of the uh, racetrack and didn't cross it and get in front of so everybody else. One, two, three, four wide, but he's got around most of them. He's going to get Coronel into corner one. No, he's not. He's going to be in trouble. And Farmer's oh, shoved out wide. Oh, no. So is Daste. Well, three, four Seats got together. And this is Farfus's camera. He picked up a place. Safety car's going to be coming out. I think there's cars everywhere, John, and that's a much worse incident than race one. The, the, the guy who designed this first corner should be taken in a dark room and beat about the head. That is just... You, I've never seen anything that bad. And they're all trying to defend from the Chevrolets, and around the outside comes Farfus, and in the middle, boink, Montero gets bounced out by Janae and straight into Farfus, who then... Handbrake turns his way back on track. Momentum, the key when you go through turn three because you've such a long straightaway as Kenza sideways in front of the field. They're piling up behind him. Well, man, Kenza got by with that, I believe. He never, he never touched anything, but Aaron Camarola with major damage on the front of his car. See, Matt Kenseth on the inside of Jimmy Johnson, and just we keep seeing this over and over and over. We saw it last week at Indianapolis. The car on the outside of Matt Kenseth just pulls him around. No air on the car. 
These, this low downforce package makes these cars very... And he's kept on to it. It's side by side, a drag race here down towards Mandarin. Who's going to flinch first? I think Farfus may well have got the lead. Here comes... Oh, no! Oh, this is going to be a big off! Oh, no! That is Van Tour, and it's another repeat of a similar accident he had. Very, very fast one. Now, here we go. Well, okay, so it was, a, it was a concertina effect, and ironically, it was caused, if you like, by... Earl Bamba, teammate. So the Antony boys are trying to get through. Will everybody get through is the question to be answered. What a jump by Power. Pagano having trouble in the back. Guys are bailing through the chicane. Where will they come out? Oh, oh no! Dixon. That's no good. Dixon's in the middle oh, of that. Car upside down and Dreddy, I think. Scott Dixon is in the middle. All right, you're clear through. Got Zach Veach. Veach oh, is squeezing all... him. He was all over the curb and just tried to ride the curb out. Look oh. at Marco's car goes over the top, but he tried to ride up on that curb. He tried had to get heated in the rear tires. That means they're a bit squirrely. As one, two, three abreast. As we've also got a problem, for, I think, for Amy at the back of the field. Four oh, abreast. No, and that's that's never that's gonna oh, that's a big hit. That is a really big hit. Steve Hunter, that is. Uh, coming back to race again, having raced last year and a year before. Uh, thank goodness for that. Steve's out of the car. Um, really, really uh, a, a good lad. We do, and we wait for them to turn off now for the start of the race here in Portimao. Oh, and a terrible start from Petrov. He's stalled. All of the drivers somehow managing to... Oh! And a huge incident at the back. I spoke too early about everybody avoiding him. A huge incident from the back then on your right-hand side. Look at the blue and white car. That's Michael Herc. He'll pull over onto the left. He's got the iSport cars ahead of him and as they all pull out of the way there's Petrov and Herc just not even seeming to react to the fact that Petrov wasn't moving there's so much movement around the track perhaps sensing that maybe Petrov had Lehnen sich die Herrschaften aber schön ineinander an. Ja, vor allem die nächste Kurve noch eng. Oh, und da oh, ist Taquini oh, raus. Schwerer oh, Abflug von ganz Ende. Taquini und der Franz Engstler donnert rein. Scheiben. Mann. Da hat das gescheppert. Mein lieber Schwerer. Taquini wurde voll auf die Honda genommen. Hat sich fast überschlagen. So, vielleicht aus der Perspektive. Er kriegt einen Schlag von Ivan Muller. Der dreht ihn um. Und schlechter Aufprallwinkel hier für Gabriele Tagwini, der sogar Michelis noch trifft. Und Franz Engsl hat keine Chance auszuweichen, knallt gleich zweimal in den Honda Civic. And a straightforward start, Al Polman gets out there, but look at Brian Scott in the two. Already have trouble down in turn one. Three, four, five cars. Oh boy. David Starr negoti negotiates his way through pretty effectively there. You certainly have to think that there might have been. Well, I was going to say contact, but that doesn't yeah. look like contact. That's pretty late to you know to start. It's a, it's so tough, guys. It, that car, the 66 car, has already turned all the way around basically. So, yeah, a little bit. Of, yeah, maybe there was some there. David Starr getting maybe. into Benny Gordon. Yeah. I didn't see the initial contact. We might want to look at it one more time. Cars scattering, one car goes around. It's one of the MyJack cars, I do believe. We've had a couple of cars in the weeds already. One of the Forsyth cars goes around. That's Tracy throwing up a rooster tail of dirt. As he has problems, Derek, he's knocked the front wing off that car. Okay, here's the big one coming towards you. Here is the big one. Trying to see what happens. Tracy and Bourdais. Oh. Just that's the, uh, out of the picture. That's the Ranger incident that happened behind the big wreck that involved Bourdais and Tracy when Tracy went up in the air. Here it is. Okay, now, whatever happened, Tracy touched wheels. I'm going to guess it was with Bourdais. Tracy flies right over the top. I'm going to guess they got squeezed. He falls, he leads them round to the green flag for the first time, season 2010 underway. A defending champion, Matt Kingsley, looking up the inside, Whoa. makes contact with Sven Boykartz and goes hard into the wall. The past two champions have crashed in turn one. Not sure if that was just a, a little bit of a misjudgment pulling out there by Matt Kingsley. Let's have a look. It gets air and more than likely he's got no brakes now, would have ripped the brake lines out. You can see suspension damage already is out of control and fortunately they're both okay but a big crash off the start line at Mount Panorama. You can see the Armco take the impact there, but massive damage to the front of the Right from the start, which was a wise move. There's Rob Half just staying out of traffic. 
going to the outside there and here is that first corner first major corner that is and it's going to be an easy ride it should be for Timo Scheider and that said it's not an easy ride for the 68 and round he goes that's Earl Asher and a big pile up involving car number 74 Pepe Oriola here's have a look what happened Pepe Ori, ah, oh, he was already, yeah, yeah. he hit the barrier early on, so that's what turned around. Already out of shape. Erlasher and Oriola, I think, in many ways. Ricardo with his teammate Jean-Éric Bern. Tabellenführer Michael Alessi, nur auf dem 10. Startplatz, so geht's los. Ganz, ganz schlechter Start, oh, da hat's, meine Herren, was hat der Lancaster da angestellt? Da hat John Lancaster aber mal richtig eingegriffen. Also, da so aus der Bahn zu kegeln, schauen Sie doch einmal hin. Quere kommen durch drin Räder, korrigiert dann. Schlenkert durch die Gegend, weil der Gegenpendler natürlich kommt, wenn man so wüst am Lenkrad sägt. Und Daniel Ricciardo, der Mann aus Perth, mit dem wir gerade unterwegs sind. Wenn der überhaupt was gedacht hat, dann war es nicht ruckreif. Versucht auszuweichen, wird dann ein... back straight away car around so, that was Bobby Labonte second week in a row a lot of cars around Jeff that's a Gordon, huge the 24 wreck. Matt Kenseth in the 17 remember this They're is still what Bobby Labonte early in the race at Las Vegas they're still wrecking back there Kurt Busch our points leader in the 97 car like you showed in the beginning in the points Bobby Labonte's not even in the top 35 right now well, it was Casey Mears that got loose first I think the things got really started a little further up with those guys reacting to what they saw for Bobby Labonte, though, who has won here six times. Nico Frost on the run down to turn one. He's not quite able to do so. Tucks in behind Nico Frost. How aggressive is he going to be coming down into turn three? Into the left hander. He goes side by side. Oh, he hits, he's hit him. I don't believe it. The two championship contenders out at turn one. And that means Degrassi would win the championship on countback. Can you believe it's happened immediately? Nico Frost in the second of those. Cars in front, the Renault E Dams cars. Yeah, oh. I mean, he, he was feathering and in, in, in braking. I don't, I honestly think, yeah, I think they braked early. But that doesn't negate the impact of the point. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
weil einer aufges aufgestiegen ist, ausgerollt ist, ein Auto zur Hälfte abrasiert an der Boxenmauer. Hier schaut es jetzt sicherlich noch dramatischer aus, gleich aus der Perspektive. Bam! Und das kann auch schnell mal wehtun beim, bei demjenigen, der aufs Korn genommen wird, bei Sakon Yamamoto. Der natürlich jetzt alle Muskeln anspannt und wartet und hofft, dass ihm keiner trifft und kommt. Colton Herta gets very defensive all the way up against the wall, but he got a good start. He should be at the apex first, but they're fanned out five wide. He goes in deep, really deep power. There's a Constantino effect. There's three cars, four cars. Zach Veach is part of that. It looks like jo uh, James Hinchcliffe. No damage to the two cars. We see the replay. There goes Rosenquist. You can see Graham gets into Veach. Veach hits Hinchcliffe oh. hard. And Connor Daly, just an innocent victim, along with Spencer Piggott. So listen, very much in the vein here. This is what it's going to look like for Ray Hall. Have a listen. Yeah, I got to put that all on. I got to put that all on Graham. And, and he accepted. Hawthorne puts the power. Watch the McLaren in the background. There he goes across the track, into the wall, across the path of Heinz Harold Fredson. Off go the wheels, into the arm code goes David. Damon Hill goes through. There's Eddie Irvine's Ferrari being hit by Mika Salo's arrows, which also hits David Coulthard's McLaren, which had already been virtually written off. Tuero just hit somebody's front wing. There's an arrows in front of us. I should think at least, at least 10 cars have been really badly affected by that crash.